Hi class, so I got a question about how to solve when you have both the summation operator and n, lowercase n for sample size, so how many observations you have in your data set is what this tells us. So here we have a couple problems. The second one is one you'll see later. Uh, this in fact is calculating an average for a set of data where you sum the scores and divide by the sample size. So let's pro problem solve with a couple of these. How do you do order of operations when you have the summation operator and n? So first, this first problem we see that we need to calculate x squared because we want the sum of x squared. So to do the sum of our x squared values, we're going to need to first generate a column for x squared. So now we're going to type in our command in Excel. We select the data and we use caret 2 to square it. As we've learned, you can get this black crosshair and drag through to get that for all of the data in your series. So now I have the squared values for each one. And I can use the sum command in Excel to sum all of those x squared values, which is the second portion of the equation I'm given here. Now, I want to get n. n is simply how many observations do you have. It doesn't matter what value they take, only how many. We can use a command like count a, which counts all the non-blank cells in a region to simply count how many there are. Here, we had four scores, and the sum of their x squared values was 39. We can use those two values to multiply n by the sum of x squared and get our answer here, 156. So that's how you can do this type of problem. Now, in the second one, we just need the sum of x. We don't have any squared values. So we need to square, we need to just sum our original values. So we're going to get the sum of our original x values, 1, 2, 3, and 5. And once we get that sum, we can in this same place go ahead and divide by the n because we've already obtained it, right? So n here is 4. Um, and we, once we do that, we are going to go ahead and solve the sum of x over n. Now we get here when we do that, 2.75, which is the average for those four observations. And in fact, Excel has a command that we'll learn later, average, that we can get the average of data and we'll see that those two values are equal. So I hope that helps to clarify how you might solve problems when you have both n, the sample size, and the summation operator present in a given problem. Always happy to make additional videos to clarify concepts.